children, I am your math teacher Jeevita. In today's video, we will be learning more about lines. So the chapter name was Geometry, lesson number 2. In your previous class or in the previous video, you learned different types of lines and every line starts from a point. And what are the types of lines you learned? You learned line, line segment and a ray. In this three, you also saw what are the difference between them. Line will have aroma on both the sides. Line segment will not have this aromax. And ray will have aromax only on one side. So now let's go further and learn some more lines. So if you see, I have drawn the three types of lines. The first one is intersecting line, second one is perpendicular lines, third one is parallel lines. Now in this video you will learn what are these, how to name them and then how to write the names. So what is this line called is intersecting. When two lines meet at one single point. So you have two lines here. They both are meeting at one single point. Such lines are called intersecting lines. So how you write them or how you name them? You already know how to name the lines. So just name these two lines. So let me name the first line as A, B. Next line, I'm going to name it X and Y. And the point which I have kept here, the point where both the line meet, even that I should give a name. I give it O. Okay, and this O has a special name called point of intersection. Point of Intersection. Intersection means joining or meeting. Okay children, so you can read it as X, Y and A, B. That is line X, Y and A, B intersect each other. You can just say intersect. So line X, Y and A, B intersect each other. That is why they are called intersecting lines. So if you are clear with this, we will go for next perpendicular line. So you can see there is one line and on that another line meets at a point and they make a 90 degree angle here. Normally it is said as L shape. Any line making L shape will be called as perpendicular lines. See you can see here even this line meets but there is no L shape here. If this line meets correctly and makes a L shape and then this also can be said as perpendicular lines. If correctly make a L shape. L can be standing L or sleeping L or on any angle or any direction. But it should be L. That is 90 degree. They usually mention it by drawing a box here. This represents the angle here is 90 degree. You will be learning about these angles in the next video. So for this video just know that when you see this mark. It is 90 degree and any line having 90 degree is called perpendicular line. Then how do you mention the name for this is first let, the, let us write the name. I write P Q R. Okay and this B O here. So the line P Q how will I write this? Line PQ is perpendicular. This symbol I should write. PQ is perpendicular to RO. Line PQ 
is perpendicular to R O. No need of mentioning whether it is a line, line segment or anything. In general, just write the letters. Line P Q is perpendicular to line R O. This is how you write perpendicular lines. Now come to the next lines. You have parallel lines. In parallel lines, you will have two lines which are parallel to each other. Means they'll be in the same direction. Even if you extend this in both the ways, they will not meet the other. They will never meet each other. Such lines are called parallel line. Example, you see a railway track. The, both the tracks of the rail will never meet each other at any point. That line is also called as parallel lines. So, the lines which do not meet at each other are called parallel lines. How you mention them? Let me write the name for this. I write X, Y and then P, Q. So, how will I mention them is? Line XY is parallel. See, this is the symbol for parallel. Line XY is parallel to line PQ. This is how I write parallel line. So, if you are clear with this parallel line, now we will be going on to exercise 2.2 and we will be writing the answers for them. I want everyone to open your test book, page number 94 and I am going to write the answers for you and I want everyone to write it along with me in your test books. Okay children, be ready with your test books. I hope you have opened your test books. Now let's start the exercise, exercise 2.2, page number 94. I will be writing only answers. You can refer the questions in your textbook. So first name is name the types of lines. So what is the first line you see there is a standing line. So what is the standing line called? It is called vertical line. V-E-R-T-I-C-A-L Vertical line. This is the answer for the first one. Next one you see a sleeping line. What is sleeping line called? It is called horizontal line. H-O-R-I-Z-O-N-T-A-L Horizontal L-I-N-E line. Third one you see a slanting line. It is also called as oblique line. So let us write O B L I Q U E oblique line. Now go for the D one. Both D and E are the lines which are bent. So both D and E will be C U R V E D curved line C U R V E D curved line Now let's go for the next name Name the given figures and write using their symbols So you have to name them and write the name of it not like this name we used to write A B C D's letter in that name format we have to name them. So first you have a standing line. So let us name that line as A B. So how do you write this? You write A B and draw a small line on them. Okay. And now we go for B1. You have a ray there. So let us write the name 
It is your choice, children. You can write any letter you like. I'm just writing my wish. What letter I like, I'm writing it. You can write even any letter you like. So I write X, Y and I write X, Y. Top on that, I write a symbol of the ring. Next C1, you have a line. And it has a mark both the sides. So this is line segment. This is the line. So let me name it as CQ. Write CQ and write a symbol of it. Now go for the D1. You can see two lines which do not meet each other at any point. How are they? Two standing lines which are parallel. Means they do not meet at any point. So let us name them as D, H, I, J. So how do you write their names? You write it as D, H, parallel to you write two standing lines on that you write L E. Okay? In short, you write L E. And write the second line name, I J. This means line G H is parallel to line I J. Now you have a perpendicular line. L shape. Perpendicular line. So how do you want to write the name? For this, we can write the name as, first name the two lines, I am going to name it as E, F and G. Okay, here both the lines stop at one point, so both will have F as common. So how do you mention them? You write line E, F. Perpendicular. This is the symbol for perpendicular to line F G. And next you have again parallel lines. And I want you to write the names for them. Last three are parallel, perpendicular, again perpendicular. So last H1 is little confusing or tricky. Only that I'll be showing you. I want you to write the name for next two. So here I have two lines. I'll be writing G, H and P, Q. These are 90 degree L shape. So I write and line G, H is perpendicular to line P, Q. So we have finished two minutes. Now we go for the next page. That is third minute. Fill in the blank. So I'll be writing again only answers. The first question is a line segment has dash end point. Line segment means how many lines it has, uh, end points it has? Two end points. So write two in the blank. Second one. A ray has dash end point. Ray will have only one end point. Third one. A line has dash end point. Line will not have end point. Both the side it has arrow mark. So you write N O no. It doesn't have a line. End point. Two lines which are equidistant from each other are called dash. Means they are at equal distance and they do not meet each other. They are called as parallel lines. So they are called as parallel lines. Next, we go for fifth question. A line can be extended or diagonal. So, there are mentioned lines which having arrow 
up on both the sides. So you can extend it from both the sides. So you write both or you can also write extending on two sides. But dash can be extended only in one direction. Only one direction which line can be extended? The answer for the sixth one is Z. Seventh one. Dashed line can meet at only one point. Which lines meet at one point? The line meeting at one point are called intersecting lines. So right? Intersecting. The next question. Dash has a fixed length. Which line will have a fixed length which cannot be extended more? Is line segment. Now next, ninth one, dash has no definite length. Which line has no definite length? Means it can be drawn more and more. We can extend it. It is the line, only line. Dash has no length and breadth. This is important. I said you this is the length and this is the breadth. So, which shape doesn't have length or breadth? Anything. It is point. If I have a point, I cannot measure length also. I cannot measure breadth also. So, this is the only thing which do not have length or breadth. Now, the next name is just for you to read and keep it in your mind. That is the difference between line and a ray. We have already discussed this in a starting. So now we will go for fifth name. We will present the following as shown in the model example. So it is just nothing but just like the second name. How we wrote the name and represented the name. You, they have only given you names in this name. You have to just write it down. Represent it. The first one they have already done for you. So let's even second one is done for you. Now we have to write from number C. So in number C, what is the type of lines we have? It is L shape. So it is a perpendicular line. So what is the name of the lines given? It is line AB and line L O. How do you write it is perpendicular? You write a symbol like this. This means they both are perpendicular. B1, do you see parallel line? So how do you write the name? B1, I write it here. So first write the names of the two lines there. AB and XY. So how will I mention they are parallel? Right two standing lines with the small L E on them. Next you go for E1. And E1 is also a perpendicular line. So how do you mention them? Like first the names of the two lines. M, N and O, P. And write the symbol for parallel. So I have shown you three examples and three more problems you have. I want you to try that. By this. So here we have finished. By this we have completed exercise 2.2. In this video we learn intersecting lines, parallel lines, perpendicular lines, how to name them, how to represent them. And we also wrote it in exercises. I want everyone to complete your textbook and my practice session. I will be checking each and every one's textbook. So, if any doubts you have, you can ask me in any practice session to this. So, thank you. Bye-bye.